what's up guys e3 just happened recently i believe this video i want to talk about probably the one game that took me for surprise the most and i'm super excited for it. dragon ball fighters with the, with the z at the end i i i heard i remember hearing about a dragon ball game being made a dragon ball fighting game being made potentially being called dragon ball fighter or fighters and it was going to be developed for my arc system works the guys behind Guilty Gear. And I remember thinking to myself, dude, if they make a game, a Dragon Ball fighting game, with the Guilty Gear XR engine that they made, that graphical uh, art direction, that sounds super awesome. And uh, let me tell you, <laughs> it looks every bit as cool as I was hoping it would. The game looks super awesome. The special effects, the way the art style looks, it, it's, it looks so faithful to it. That graphical art direction uh, that they're using from Arc System Works' uh, Guilty Gear XR game, it fits so perfectly with Akito Toriyama's art style. It looks so sick. And me being a fighting game enthusiast that I am, these combination of things coming together along with being a, a big Dragon Ball fan, like growing up watching Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, this game, man, it looks super sick. It looks so dope. And then I, I knew they weren't going to call it just Dragon Ball Fighters, right? I was like, not fighting. Fighters, just Dragon Ball Fighters, so they call it Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Fighters with a Z at the end. And I'm like, okay, because this is Arc System Works, you know they like to have like their ridiculous like uh, game titles, and I figured because this is going to be, uh, this is a Bandai Namco uh, license being uh, licensed out to Arc System Works to develop a game for it, you want, they want to keep it, you know, they don't want to make an, a name too crazy like Guilty Gear, XR, Revelator 2, or Midnight Carnival, Double X, Triple Edition, you know, nothing too crazy, right? So they just kept it simple, but still incorporating the Z in there, for, you know, for us fans, you know, Dragon Ball Z, they got a Z for fighters. I'm like, that's clever, it's cool, it's simple, but it works. The game looks super freaking sick. I, I just, I, I'm like, it's in, look, it's 3v3, right? So it's a 3v3 fighting game. So you, you pick your dream team in this game, man. Like, freaking Super 2 Gohan? Father Son Kamehameha? Super 3 Goku? What? Man, they, and let me, t let's talk about the trailer, okay? Let's talk, I feel like they, they literally edited this thing together for me specifically, I swear to God, because the way it is, there's certain things about Dragon Ball that they have now, like Dragon Ball Super, I don't, I don't, I haven't, I haven't been watching Super. I watched the two new Dragon Ball movies, the most recent movies they had. I watched those, Resurrection F, Battle of the Gods, I watched those, those were cool, but I haven't been watching Super at all. I'm not really, I don't like the new Super Blue, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan shit. Nah, I'm not into it. I'm not really, it just, to me, it doesn't really look that cool. The golden hair and the lightning. It just looks more regal. It looks more badass to me. I feel like they haven't topped that. But I did like Golden Frieza though, right? So they have Golden Frieza from Resurrection F, but then they don't have the Blue Super Saiyan in this trailer. Then they have Super Saiyan 2 Gohan doing, which is one of the coolest characters in all Dragon Ball Z history for me, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. When he was fighting Perfect Cell, I'm like, dude, this is where it's at right here. This, he was such a badass during that part, right? They, and, and in some of the movies like Bojack Unbound, like I... I fell in love with that character, right? He's so cool. It's like this little unstoppable force with his one little bang hanging down, man. I was like, man, that's my boy. They show him do, uh, they show Gohan do the, um, the Father Son Kamehameha. They show Super Saiyan 3 Goku, which is one of my favorite, uh, forms of, uh, of Super Saiyan. The Super Saiyan 3, I think it looks super dope. And it's just like, okay, they show the Warp Kamehameha, they show Perfect Cell. It might have been Super Perfect Cell, I'm not sure. Doing the Kamehameha, the, the Final Flash, they show all this stuff. I'm like, dude, they're showing so many things I personally like. And they cut out certain things, such as the Blue Super Super Saiyan was in the same movie as Golden Frieza, but they don't show that, right? So I'm like, they cut out some of the stuff I wouldn't have been favorable for and left in the things I am favorable for, like the particular things, they put them in. Even the way Goku turned Super Saiyan when they first show him turn Super Saiyan during the trailer, the way they even animated that, they animated it in the very similar fashion to the Dragon Ball intro, they do, they have him transform in that exact same fashion, and I always liked the way that looked, and they used that. I'm like, dude, this trailer was tailor-made for me. The only thing it was missing is it didn't have trunks. I gotta give my boy trunks. The boy trunks with the sword, he gotta be on the dream team, I'm just saying. So it's gonna be 3v3. Some people are saying this is in direct competition with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And I gotta be honest, man. I'm not saying Dragon Ball is a bigger IP than Marvel. It's not like they don't have leverage, you know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's some competition for you right there. Dragon Ball is a really popular franchise at this point. 
they may have something on their hands right here. I mean, this may actually get Arc System Works from being less of an obscure uh, Japanese developer and, and actually get the recognition that they deserve. This may put them on the map, and this might actually be something that can be competitive with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I didn't know, I didn't think there could be anything that could do that. This might do that. Um, because if any license could compete with the Marvel brand, it might be this one, and considering how much better this game already looks <laughs> compared to Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I don't know, man. That's telling, man. This game already looks super sick. I'm super excited for this game. Guilty Gear plus Dragon Ball Z plus Marvel vs. Capcom all in one game and actually being a competent competitive fighting game. I haven't been this excited for something Dragon Ball related in a long time. Alright, anyway, uh, I just wanted to express how I'm really looking forward to this game. Um, stay tuned guys, later. Oh, this shit is so cool.